Hi, so in this video, I'll show you how if you have made a Google form, how you can set that up so that other teachers can use it as a template and that when their students fill out the form, you won't get their student results mixed in with yours. They have their own access to it and just some pointers on that. So it's actually a little interesting how you have to set this up. You don't actually have to start with the form. The most key thing to do first is to actually go to your Google Drive. And when you're in Google Drive, what you're going to do is actually make a folder first. So I'm gonna click new and folder. I'm just gonna call this Google Forms Template Folder. You can name it whatever you like, but for my own purposes, I'm going to name it that. And then I'm going to open this folder and I'm gonna to toggle the share settings on this folder. So I'll click this drop down menu and click share. I'm going to do get shareable link. I'm going to change this. Click more. I'm going to do anyone with the link can view. And I'll do save. All right. So that part is set up. So you'll go through and you're going to make your form, add your questions, however you like. That's what I've already done here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this form that I've made into the folder that I just made. So this folder is Google Forms template folder. I'm going to put this form that I want to use as a template into that folder. There it is. And I'll click move. Asking for permission, I'll click move. So I basically just put my survey into a shared folder now. And that shared folder is set up so that anyone can view. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is, right, so I put that in my shared folder. You can double check that it's there if you have that tab open that still has your folder. I can see my form in there now. So now that I'm in my editing view on my form, which is basically the view where you can toggle and change and edit your questions and send it out to people, what I'm going to do, and this is the part that's really different than if you're just sending the form, is I'll look across the top here and when the link ends in edit just double check that it ends in edit i'm going to copy all of this so if i'm on my laptop it's control a and that selects everything that's in that text box so i don't have to click and drag because that takes too much time so i'll do control a i'm gonna do control c and i'm just going to show you this in a google doc maybe if you were sending this out in an email to your colleague because you'd have it open up in an email and i'm going to slightly tweak this link that i just copied i'm going to paste it here right but i'm going to change it so i'm going to chop off the back part of this where it says edit get rid of anything after that edit so the edit and anything after it i'm going to click copy and this is actually the link that I'm going to share with my colleagues. So when my colleagues get this link, whether it's through email or whatnot, this is the one that's going to give them my Google form template, but in a version that is their own and it's not tied to mine, I won't get their results in their data and they can create their own spreadsheet. So to give you an example of that, I'm going to go to a different Google account I have. Right, so I have a different Google account pulled up here um, and I'm going to copy and paste in that link that I just edited. So it ends in copy and I click paste. It's going to prompt me to make my own copy. So now what I've basically done is created a forced copy or created a template of any Google form that I've made. And now my colleagues can edit it. Just to let you know, whenever you get to this point to where you wanna give your colleagues a template so this forced copy for them make sure that it's the final draft of your version because after you send them this link and you make any changes to your original template it won't reflect those changes because this copy is theirs and it's not tied to your original one anymore so just know um, i've done that before and i've realized i had a typo or something and then i already sent this out to people and their version is have my corrected version which is okay but just whenever you get to this point just know this is your final draft and send it out that way Hopefully this helps, let me know if it doesn't and I can shoot over some more instructions. 
I do have a step-by-step uh, -step that I found online on how to do this. If you scroll a little bit further down on this page, um, this teacher shows you how you can do that. So this is a little bit more of a visual way of doing it, but she has it all written out in text. If you want to use that instead. Thank you and good luck.